growth is a process of growing. Generally, it is seen as an increase in the size. An economy is a place where activities such as consumption and production take place. Economic growth is the term used for understanding a growing economy. More specifically, economic growth is the increase in the output or income of an economy. The number that is used to represent economic growth is known as the growth rate. Growth rate may be linear or exponential. The basis of studying economic growth is a mathematical model. Different economists have established different models for measuring the economic growth of a country. The Harrod Dahmer model was developed independently by Roy F. Herod in 1939 and F. C. Dahmer in 1946. According to this model, an economy's growth rate is explained in terms of the level of saving and productivity of capital. The output growth rate is determined with calculus using dot notation for the derivative of a variable with respect to time. This equation shows the output growth rate. Here, y dot by y is the output growth rate, s is savings rate, c is marginal product of capital, and delta is the rate of depreciation of capital stock. The Solo Swan model was developed independently by Robert Solo and Trevor Swan in 1956. This is a non linear system that attempts to explain long run economic growth by considering capital accumulation, population growth, and technological progress. The key equation of Solo Swan model is Cobb Douglas type. The main interest of the model is the capital intensity that is the capital stock per unit of effective labor. This is the key equation of the Solo Swan model and MPK is the marginal product of capital. The Fay Rennes model is a dual model developed by John C. H. Fay and Gustav Rennes. It is an extension of the Lewis model or dual sector model named after the inventor W. Arthur Lewis. Fay and Rennes developed three important concepts labor utilization ratio, endowment ratio, and non redundancy coefficient. This is the mathematical relation between the three concepts that shows that the non-redundancy coefficient is directly proportional to labor utilization ratio and inversely proportional to the endowment ratio. The endogenous growth model was developed by a group of growth theorists in 1980s. The work of Kenneth Arrow, Hirofumi Uzawa, and Miguel Sidrowski formed the basis for this research. According to this model, human capital, innovation, and knowledge are the significant contributors to economic growth. The AK model is the simplest form of endogenous model. This is the AK model production function that is a special case of a Cobb Douglas function with constant returns to scale. Here, Y is the total production in an economy, A is the total factor productivity, K is capital, L is labor, and alpha is the output elasticity of capital. For the special case alpha equal to 1, 
y is equal to a k. In this era of globalization, every economy is growing bigger and bigger. Growth theorists are faced with many challenges. This call for new analysis of growth patterns and development of new growth models and mathematical models are the backbone of economic growth models. In this video, you were introduced to few economic growth models. There are several other growth and development models that economists have developed. These models use calculus and therefore will be discussed in detail later in this course. Thank you.